there's always going to be reflection on years in the past, and no team can, I think, quite easily just completely wipe the slate and say years prior or completely can be left behind. So I think in some regard here, you know, we are going to be looking to last year, but only, I think, to, to encourage the girls and encourage the team that we are – um, we are a growing program and a successful program and that they should have some confidence with that. That being said, however, um, you know, it definitely is a new squad and with that really after the team came back in the spring, um, we did have that kind of sit down and talk and okay, now we are a new group and in the spring we had a, a really great spring and we used that time to develop that group of players um, and for them to find themselves and attach to their roles and try and figure out who this new team is going to be. However, now, of course, we have an, a new crew of players coming on um, with new additions to the team. So as much as we uh, did improve and develop our skills and become a different team this spring, it is going to be another transition in the fall. Um, and quite honestly, starting in the next couple days, uh, you would hope that that is a smooth transition and that's obviously something that we'll work on and um, in hopes that it is somewhat of a seamless one but uh, the reality is of course that there are new new people coming in and new personnel and um, as a group we are just going to again to continue to develop and morph and and progress into the fall. I think in the first couple days you want to quite honestly see just the fitness level that they're at um, and a lot of them were away over the summer some were here working with our strength and conditioning staff um, but quite honestly, a lot of the girls are doing um, things on their own throughout the summer um, and often internships and job interviews and all sorts of great things. Um, so fitness obviously is a, a big part of it and then just kind of see where they're at with their touch on the ball and I think immediately you'll be able to tell the people that have uh, kind of taken the, the training over the summer um, to the level that they should you hope um, and you know basic focusing on the fitness um, and really just the fundamental technical pieces and in the first couple days and then we'll start to dive pretty heavily into the more tactical pieces um, as we get a little further along into preseason but it is a relatively short time frame that we have so I think we're gonna have to hit the ground running pretty soon yeah I think the group that we have genuinely returning is such a solid group I think uh, quite honestly, over the past couple of years, this very well could be the strongest returning group that we have in that sense. Um, and certainly from a leadership standpoint, that is by all means there. Uh, we have a, a, a wide variety and ranges of leadership skills in that upperclassmen um, group of players. It's not necessarily from that senior class, although that has a lot of leadership skills. Um, really, the Quite honestly, the rising sophomores, juniors, and seniors within those classes, they have really strong, valuable leaders, and the team certainly is going to be turning to them, and our coaching staff is going to be turning to them to kind of lead the ship a little bit and um, you know, take, make sure the new players are finding themselves properly on campus and uh, within their roles within the team as well. I think the driving force day in, day out is uh, a big focus for us is just about being doing things one thing at a time um, and taking every step one step at a time and whatever direction that takes us obviously you, you know you have visions of um, another Patriot League championship and getting on to the NCAA tournament um, and advancing within that of course that's there uh, for us but I don't necessarily think it's something that we want to focus on we want to focus on genuinely being the best that we can um, and doing things one step at a time and if you do things well incrementally, um, you know, the results hopefully are going to be there. Um, but, you know, right away our focus is just going to be doing um, the next thing that's right in front of us and doing that next thing to the best of our ability.